Well, it's, a, it's an interesting uh, series of events uh, because uh, it's, it started really at Ayers Rock when I, with, the do with my daughter doing a camping uh, trip with uh, some backpackers around uh, that part of the world and uh, having a, you know, a bit of discomfort uh, walking and finding I had uh, it got the point I couldn't, I couldn't continue because of the pain. Fortunately, a young German cardiologist was on the bus and obviously I had a uh, a fairly serious uh, angina attack, which uh, was a, a, a new event for me. And uh, he just really said, slow down and get back, see your doctor and uh, work out what's causing this. The test from that uh, echocardiograph came back and he said, you've got a bigger problem than the, than the arteries. We don't operate pretty quickly, you won't be with us in a week. Fortunately, the operation was very successful. And I went through quite a few months of rehab after that and uh, it uh, took me out of my business and you're sort of in limbo land when all this is happening wondering well where do I go from here? But fortunately my daughter had uh, been on a trip with John Sekima to India and she was belting me up trying to get me to go into half time because she felt I needed to get refocused you know my second half and eventually I did go and see John and uh, he slotted me into a program I was uh, I, I was a bit uh, overwhelmed initially and I'm dealing with in this group some incredibly influential people. And so for me, half time was a bit of a crisis and it, it really hit the fan uh, on the third meeting when, when we had to get up and give a presentation on, well, what did our mission statement look like for the next 20 years of our life? And I'm sitting there thinking, I can't answer these questions. I said, I've got a mission statement. I'm gonna put that down and then I'm gonna tell you a story. And I gave them the, the story of my heart crisis and having to leave my business and going through rehab. And so I told them the story and it was a highly emotional one, you can imagine. And, uh, and I felt it was, it was good for the guys to hear that. And it was good for me to share it because then it, it put me on a footing with them that I was able to participate in the group, move on and then start plotting the course of the next uh, chapter of my life. Anyone that's really facing the need to look at uh, the second half of their life in a very positive way, halftime is the greatest vehicle. You can open yourself up to your, to your crisis and your circumstance, but you can also have the, the network of the group to help you to reform the second half in a very strategic way and build that confidence in you over 12 months to say, yes, I can do this, this will happen, this will work for me.